I don't see it, but other people say I'm really motivating to them. Kyle Francis joined the Marines when he was just 20 years old. He left for a tour in Afghanistan January 2010, but didn't stay for long. He was ambushed. I got shot up May, May 13th, twice in my leg, once in my hand, and then everywhere else I got shot. It just the sappy place stopped it, but I got twice in the chest and once in my ribs. But that's not where his journey ends. Francis only came home for a little while, then continued as an active member. It was the recent medical blow earlier this year that forced him into retirement. Nobody in my family has it, but they say, um, you know, my injuries help provide what my body needs to develop the disease, the, the neurological damage. Francis was diagnosed with ALS, more commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Some as simple as getting dressed, you know, I have a hard time. The neurological disorder affects nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord, weakening the muscles. People with the disease lose the ability to control muscle movement, and that progressive degeneration ultimately leads to death. Yeah. Not fair. Not fair at all. For his mom, Lisa, the diagnosis was especially hard, but she's learning to deal with it. We learn from him. Strength. We want him to enjoy his life as much as possible. And sitting in his chair, spending time with his little sister is exactly what he enjoys. On Sunday, there was a benefit in Liverpool that raised more than $30,000. My room's in the basement. His mom showed us his room and said the money will go to move it upstairs on the main level. And Kyle told us he's really not a fan of being in the spotlight, but at the benefit, people got a chance to honor him by writing a message to their hero. My attitude about what I'm going through helps them get through the day because, you know, like I said, it's if you're having a bad day, imagine what I'm going through, you know, and, and if I stay positive about it, then... You said me too. Reporting in Clay, Farron Stark, NCC News.